Hello guys, welcome. It's Ryan Cooper here from the London Craftsman channel. How's it all going? And in today's episode, we're going to be delving into the subject of the Banggood adjustable track saw square. But today's episode is all about asking the question, is it worth buying? At only £98 compared to the three or four hundred pounds of the Woodpecker's version, you've got to ask yourself that question. So this is what this video is all about. We're going to be checking out a few bits and pieces, seeing it in action, and ultimately answering that question, is it worth buying? So Let's stay tuned, watch to the end, and I hope you enjoy. Also stay tuned right to the end because I'm going to be showing you one amazing Banggood product like usual that you do not want to miss. Prices go up and down on Banggood constantly, so you better snap this up before it goes. That's if you're interested. Down below me, I've got one fantastic piece of kit that was sent out to me a couple of weeks back. I've been testing it. It's made up of two pieces, got lots of cool features, and it's going to be a game changer for both life and work. So if you're curious on that one too, and you want to see what it is, trust me, it's a good one. Better stay tuned right to the end. Okay, so there she is in all her glory. Fantastic piece of kit. And before we just get going and start cutting, I'm going to go over a few specs. Firstly, price. Everyone wants to know price. Right, so if we're going to be buying this from Banggood, it's £98 plus a 79p, or no, sorry, a 94p delivery charge. I've never had an import charge ever any time that I've ever bought a tool from Banggood. I've probably bought about 40 or 50 pieces, mainly Vico tools. As you can see, we've got parallel guides, we've got a couple of sets of these, we've got squares, tons of little bits and pieces. Never got an import charge. And they generally turn up between seven and 10 days. If we're going to be going to buy this from the woodpeckers, you're going to be paying £334 from Woodworkers Workshop UK, here in the UK, obviously. Um, there's no delivery charge because you're buying something over £75. If you're buying it from woodpeck.com, which is in America, obviously, their own website um, and their own products from themselves, you're going to be paying $299 plus a six weeks wait. Apparently, I just looked on their website. It's a six week wait to, um, for them to ship out to you at least. You're most likely going to get an import charge from the UK as well. When I bought um, my fence for my router here, um, I bought the super fence and it came with £130 import charge, which I did not realise. Also came with £130 delivery charge. So add those up, it's probably going to be costing you around $600, something like that, to buy this directly from woodpeck.com. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for £98, you cannot go wrong, can you? I think it's absolutely fantastic. So let's go over a few specs. It's made from aluminium, brushed aluminium, which is all the red. All the silver that you see is stainless steel. This is probably not stainless steel, nor is the knob. The main circle on these little parts are, I believe, these are probably just like galvanized or zinc plated, something like that. It's not light, I'm not gonna lie, but it feels nice and substantial. It doesn't feel like a toy, it doesn't feel rubbish, it doesn't feel flimsy. It will never break, I'm guaranteeing you that. The way it's made, um, the tolerances they've left, you know, from this pivot circle to the way they um, put in these little machine threaded screws, um, to the way it swivels, you'll feel it as well once you buy one. It's really, really, really well made. It's also got a quick release catch, so you slide your track in, which you'll see later, and then you just click it closed. It's got this, so to change the angles, you simply remove this knob or loosen it, lift that up and spin the dial. Obviously your track's gonna be on there and it lo locates into five um, degree increments. You can also do one degree increments, just leaving it there and then nipping it up. Or you could just simply just let it just click into its five degree increments. Um, it does zero to 60 degrees and this I believe is 2.3 kilos heavy. The width or the length, shall I say, is 368 millimeters long by 178 millimeters wide by about 10 or 11 mil thick. So be careful when you're cutting. If you're cutting anything thinner than that, you just got to be aware that this is thicker than the piece that you're cutting. For example, if you cut some six mil or nine mil, just be aware, there's ways around that. Um, the thing I like about this, it's got the handle. So when you're actually using it, um, you put this little tab. That's another special feature. I think it's a brilliant idea. So it clicks on, obviously your track's gonna be on there, balancing it, and you just simply hold it on. And then you just do your cut. So that little, tab allows you allows the track saw guy to stay there without it falling off or tipping like most things do so i think that is all the specs over 
It's a really fantastic piece of kit. I will leave a link in the description or my video description. So what I'm gonna be doing next, I'm gonna be testing it and I'm gonna be clipping it onto my Makita track saw um, rail, as you can see. One other thing I forgot to mention is that it only works on Makita, Vestal and Triton. So if you've got a Dewalt and any other branded saws, I'm sure it's not gonna work. It's just those three. So what we're gonna do is use our square, this square, my trusty reference square, which I use for um, my staircases, making staircases. And I've also got a trend um, digital guide. So let's go ahead, put our Makita track saw rail on and do a couple of cuts. So let's start with a nice square board as it is anyway. I'm gonna test it with my roofing square. Perfectly square, absolutely perfect. Let's also check this digital trend version. So let's turn it on, let's zero it. There we go and we can open it up and just put it on our corner and see what we've got. There we go, we've got 89.9, which isn't too bad, is it? It's pretty, pretty square. And that is what we got near enough, spot on. Now we know we've got this calibrated and we know this is square. Let's go ahead and put this on and do a cut. I mentioned earlier that it's very easy to calibrate this anyway, even if it is out. And to do that, all you need to do is simply just release this knob, move it to your preferred position. For example, if it's out of square, you go, okay, let's just overdo it for now. Let's just say that's square. I'll then nip it up. I know this is wrong, but when I, what I then simply do is just release the guide where it's got your degrees. And we know this is set up to zero. It should be zero. We literally release this and this and just move that guide until this tip drops into the little gap. Simple. But I did that when I first got it because it was a very, very fractionally out and I've calibrated it already. All I'm gonna simply do is just click it in. So I know all of these increments are spot on now. So if I wanted five degrees, I click it in there, nip up that knob, simple. And let's do a little cut. Let's go for zero first, right? Click it in the zero, let it drop in nice and um, flush. There we go, nip that up. And let's just nip off 10 mil off of this board. Remember, if we were doing this without a board underneath, I could simply use this as a handle with my left hand and just hold my track. If you can see, I've clamped these on with my little ratchet clamps, absolutely spot on with the um, MFT top that I have. I'm gonna go ahead, get my Makita track saw and give it a cut. Just in case you're asking, I'm using the CLS hoses, the quick release hoses. They're absolutely fantastic if you're after a set of dust hoses yourself. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. So let's go ahead and check it with our square. You can hear the resistance, yeah? Really, really, really perfect. So we know that is a fantastic 90 degree cut. These track saw squares are absolutely fantastic to do multiple cuts. You know, if you haven't got a table saw, or you're cutting lots of full-size sheets and you haven't got the capability of lifting up this whole sheet yourself. Um, along with, obviously, the Banggood Parallel Guides. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'd say this is my best buy and it's probably going to be coming close to this now. I haven't used this much, but this and this is a perfect combination. And they are so cheap. That and that is 200 quid and you can rip down full sheets. I cannot say this enough. This one, this square, and this parallel set of guides are probably the best buys I have ever made in my whole entire career. Career, yeah, yeah, I could say that. Um, obviously there's tons that I buy, but for the budget, the price that they are and the quality they are compared to the big name brands, absolutely fantastic. So don't forget to buy yours. All right, so what we're gonna do is a five degree. Let's release this knob and let that little triangle find its place in the slot. Simple, nip it back up, push it up against, there you go. Wow, five degrees is quite a lot, isn't it? When you think about it, I didn't think five degrees would be that much of an angle. But remember, we have got this calibrated to like 0.1 of a millimeter. So we'll know once we cut that, if 
the five degrees is nice and spot on. Um, okay, so let's go for a cut. Let's take that off, put it to the side. Um, if you are cutting and you've got a lot more space than I have now because I've got my camera, you can position your square into the center of your rail. If you're not cutting massive pieces, it will help you carry, your, carry it all as a whole a little bit easier. I have ordered smaller versions of these as well, um, unnamed ones, to be honest, off Banggood. Um, I think it's 800, which when I'm cutting down 600 pieces, it should be spot on and make it a little bit lighter. Now let me move that to, let's move that to the side, get rid of the off cut. Turn this on, this should be calibrated now, I hope, on and off. Yeah, still 89.9. And I'm just going to release that now because this is the one that's going to tell us how accurate it is. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Not even a point mil out. Well, nearly there. It was zero. It was point. There we go. 5.1. And that's because I'm a bit cack handed here. The camera's in the way. And it was five a second ago. But absolutely spot on near enough, hey? Over 600 mil distance, 0.1 of a mil out, isn't a bad way to go, eh? So, really, really chuffed with these. And as you can see, I've just got my little ratchet clamps holding it on, um, and I've got my Makita track, and I've got my Banggood square. What else do you need, apart from your parallel guides? These bad boys over here, you've got yourself a perfect combination for cutting. Um, and your MFT table. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed that, um, like I did. Do not forget to snap these up, and obviously the square up, it's a perfect combination. I'm not just saying that, um, it really has transformed the way I work in this workshop. I do have my table saw here. When I'm on my own, it's near enough impossible to cut sheets down. Um, also, when I'm with Sean, it's a bit tricky. Oh, I just find the combination of the parallel guides and the track saw square work absolutely spot on and they are absolute quality tools. When you buy them, you're going to be sending me a message going, thanks Ryan, absolutely fantastic, I love them also. So remember, snap them up before they go. I'm going to leave a picture up the top of the products that I promised at the beginning of the video. So you want to see this new toy that I was talking about at the start of the video, don't you? Ready for it? And here you have it, it's a power generator by EcoFlow. So I'll be doing lots of weird and wacky experiments with this in the future. I'm gonna be trying to power my sim rig in the house, you know, my driving sim rig, seeing if it can handle that. I'm gonna be taken out on site. I'm trying to power a few tools, a few hand tools. I'm gonna to be taking it in the car, seeing how it charges. Solar panel experiments, tons and tons. So stay tuned for that. Lots more to come on this one. Let's talk about what it's got. So it's got USB-C, it's got USBs, it's got fast charge USBs. It's got a lovely display on the front showing input, outputs, battery capacity, how long it's gonna to take to charge, how much battery you've got left, taking into account that the draw that you're taking out, for example, an output of a USB, or a plug, etc., etc., and it changes in real time. Um, we've got two 240 volt plugs for the mains, obviously. We've got a 12 volt output, and we've got all these connectors at the top. And so you can have your solar panels connected in. These are 110 watt that you can see below me, and these solar panels come with this fantastic case. Really, really good. At the back of this is material. It doesn't look like a solar panel, does it? It's really, really lovely, well made, and it's not too heavy either, so you can take it around. I find the best feature of this, I'm taking it with me to measure up. So when I go to measure up, I just chuck it in my van, or my car, plug it into the 12 volt port in the car, and by the time I got back, it's about 30% charged. So then I can come back, plug it in, be a bit nerdy, um, power my TV for the night, plus the laptop, plus my phone. You know, it all helps. Power is getting really expensive nowadays. So these little things are gonna be perfect, especially for the future, because this is the way the world is going at the moment, all electric. One other thing, um, we're at 26 and a half, nearly 27,000 subscribers now, so thank you everyone who has subscribed. We've also got a um, membership. If you feel like we're helping out, remember everything that you see is free, I don't charge, I don't earn hardly anything, to be fair, apart from a few affiliates, um, which is only a few pence here and there. So if you feel like this has helped and you like my channel and you 
like watching my videos and you feel like they've given you something, you can always hit the join button in the channel page. Just click on a little membership or medium or large, depending on the perks that you want. So thanks guys, take it easy. Hope to see you in the next video. Ciao for now.